y'all know I love my coffee. <laughs> good afternoon, coders. <laughs> um, and it's always a good afternoon when there's iced coffee on tap. <laughs> so uh, I just want to start really quick and say thank you to all my viewers, all my subscribers. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the comments. And the comments are basically what this video is about today. So I want to thank Keith Johnson. He left a really good question underneath one of my videos. And the video was about how you can get free CEUs if you have the AAPC coder software. So if you're using the AAPC coder, then you have access to all these opportunities for blah, 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 free CEUs. And I have a video on that and I'll link that below in the description if you're interested in that. Um, so thank you for your fantastic question, Keith. I really can't believe I didn't cover that in my video. That was kind of remiss of me and I apologize. And so now I'm gonna do a, a really quick video to show you that once you get your CEUs, here's how you translate them over to your CEU tracker for the APC. Uh, I wanna encourage any of you guys, if you have questions or comments, please, please put them in the comments section below because I do enjoy communicating with you guys. Sometimes I get busy and it's harder. Uh, right now, things are a little slower, so I can actually uh, communicate back a little bit. And, you know, it's it's wonderful to be able to talk to you guys. And to have someone ask such a good question and be able to not only answer him in the comments, but also do a video to discuss it. So if anyone else has a question, then they'll actually be able to see how, how to do what we're going to do here. So, having said that, you guys come along with me and I'm going to hop on my computer or my iPad and I'm going to show you how you can do, you know, take those survival guide tests in the APC coder and how you can move them into your tracker. So come along. Okay, so I just went out and took the specialty survival guide for ICD-10 for 2020 and as you can see, I passed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save our certificate. So you're gonna download it, hit download. Now let's see if it's in our downloads. And there it is. All right, so there's one way to get it. Now the other way, say say after you've done that, say you, you get busy and you're like, oh, I'll deal with it later, right? So then what you can do, you can come over here to your CEUs tab, and then you should be able to tell if I can find it on here. There's the ICD-10 one. See, there's the ICD-10. I passed it, so we're going to download it. Yes, we want to download the certificate, which I just did. So we can pull up that certificate, and what I'm going to do, let me see if it'll copy and paste. I don't think it'll copy and paste. Oh, look at there. Haha. <laughs> we're going to copy the certificate number, and we're going to go back. Let's see if I can do this. Go back to... Uh, AAPC home and you want to go to my AAPC see what I mean it's a little bit more cumbersome than you know it'd be nice if it was if it automatically went into your tracker but it doesn't go to my AAPC and my iPad's a little slow today so hold on with me and there it is there's my tracker. So what I want to do now is I want to go to my CEU tracker. We're going to just try and do this and see if it works. We're going to hit paste. Paste it in. Hit the add button. And wait and see what happens. Make it smaller. Yep. And see, it's added it right there. There's the, um, do you have the index number? It automatically added it. Now we're going to put today's date in. And what is today? Today is, oops the seventh and we're going to choose our upload file see if I can find it I guess that's it I hope that's the right one and then we're going to hit save and now it should be in my tracker and there it is so we're going to open it up we're going to just view it I want to make sure it's the right see the right certificate is in there and that is how you do it. Now it's added to my tracker. And don't you guys feel terrible for me? I have 30 more CEUs that I have to uh, get before August. Um, but hey, there'll be more videos coming. Uh, that's pretty cool. 
anyway, so that's how you do your survival guides. That's how you move them from, you know, when you pass them, that's how you move them in here. Also, um, I think I already said this, but say you have, here you have it downloaded. You can literally just go and print this up if you need to use it for another certificate that you have, another credential. Say, say you have another credential that accepts AAPC CEUs. You can print it up and submit it to them however you do. But this is how you get it to your AAPC tracker. So there you go, guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, if I didn't make it clear enough, or if you guys need me to do it again and do it slower, maybe I went through it too fast. I was trying not to show too much of my personal information here. Um, as much as I like you guys, I do want to keep a little mystery. So <laughs> I was trying not to show you all of my business, <laughs> but anyway, this is how you do it. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. If it wasn't, leave me a comment in the field below, in the comment section below, and, and let me see if I can um, adjust adjust the video and give you, you know, better information if this wasn't helpful. And thank you again, Keith, for asking this really great question. You guys have a very nice and safe and wonderful week. And, um, you know, code your little hearts out. See you next time.